Yo, yeah, what's going on everybody? Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. Hope you all are doing well. I want to share with you a common problem that I see on the single engine landing. Not the approach and not the go around. I'm almost always talking about single engine ILS, single engine go around. And this time around, I want to share with you the actual flare and landing. And what really brought this to mind is I literally did a sim session not too long ago where the student did exactly what I didn't want them to do, okay? And with their permission, I actually grabbed a quick video and I wanted to share this with you because everybody has the same problem over and over and over again. This is important enough for you to actually uh, see this clip. Now, let me show you really quick. I'm gonna just put it up here on the screen. I'm not, I was gonna put it behind me. Let me put it here in front of the screen for you, okay? And what you're seeing is two things. You notice in this clip, we have a low airspeed situation and we're off the center line. Take a look at that again. Low airspeed situation and we're off the center line. You see that? This happens often on the single engine landing right as we transition from the approach pitch attitude into the flare. Is that we get into this uh, situation of being in a low airspeed and off the center line situation. Joe, how does that happen? Let me address each one individually. Okay, the first one I'm going to talk about is the low speed. If you take anything out of this video, listen to this, okay? Never get slow, particularly single engine. Never get slow, single engine. Never get slow, single engine. Never get slow. What happened here is that we flared too early, okay? The student flared prematurely, and as a result of having the nose high and the thrust reduced, okay, we pulled that power too early, flared too early, the speed decayed off, okay? And this is why we ended up in this low speed situation. Now, of course, once we get here, very difficult for you to actually accelerate again, even with two engines, especially here with a single engine. Now we're in a position with uh, too high in the flare, low speed, and you're gonna get a very uh, aggressive sink rate where frequently now flight crew will pull back more aggressively to soften the landing. And if you're in a long jet, like maybe a 7.3-900, Okay, it's a recipe for a tail strike, so be very careful with this, number one. Number two, the other issue we had here is we're off the center line. Why did this happen? This happened because, again, the thrust was reduced fairly early in that round out and flare phase segments, right? And we had rudder trim that was not removed. So we're in a situation now where thrust is at idle and we still had about five units or so on the rudder trim, so the aircraft began to yaw and later roll slightly off of that center line. So how do we fix this? Well, number one is keep the power in longer. When you're, when you're in that flare, coming in on the approach, single engine, and you're flaring, you may want to delay the thrust reduction ever so slightly for the very two reasons that you're seeing here. I don't want to get slow on the speed, and in addition to that, thrust reduction too early in the flare phase will result in yawing and later rolling off of that center line, particularly if you happen to have uh, rudder trim in the aircraft at that moment. So be mindful of these two things. What we did here was, again, you can tell I froze the sim, repositioned uh, the student back on about a three mile final. We came back in, we shot it again after I had coached them. Leave that thrust in a little bit longer, be mindful of your trim and always uh, be mindful of that speed decay. We don't wanna end up in a situation where we're low speed. By the way, the single engine go around with that low of a speed will be uh, not impossible, but difficult, okay? The control of the aircraft at that point with that low of a speed and that ineffective of a rudder with that much thrust and that high of an angle of attack, wow. I mean, not impossible, but it'll be a handful. And if you don't have sufficient sim sessions to train yourself to get out of an environment like that, look, forget about all that. The bottom line is don't get slow, period. Hope we can help you here, OneStepPrep.com. Juan and Joe, the J&J team, a lot of exciting things happening. Stay tuned with us. And as always, if I can help you reach out. By the way, one of the new things we're doing is Q&A, okay? Question and answers every month. Drop your questions, send them in. Okay, we're gonna actually put up a new uh, little spot there on the website where you can just drop questions there. We'll receive them, we'll file them, and then once a month, we're gonna sit down, Juan and I, at our table here in the studio, and we're gonna go through your questions and literally just look at them on the spot and answer them to the best of our ability right here live on the camera. We'll put it right inside your One Step Prep University online video platform, and you'll be able to see all that great content as we add it in year round. Take care and cannot wait to work with you.
we got here today Joe Munoz and Juan Dominguez, and we're going to show you today <coughs> how you should study. Okay, so you see all look these, at this here. See these manuals? Look at Joe. I'm going to typewriting school, and they gave me all these manuals. And you need to study all this, Joe? Go, you need to memorize all this stuff? All this stuff. They said I got to know all of this no, stuff. No, it has to be another way. Do I want, do you, would you want, do you want to study this? Do I want to study all this? No, 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 no. Who so, should we call? Joe and Juan! What's the prep? Oh. It's the J and J right, team right at onestepprep.com where you've got all this on video. And did we say that you can talk to us as well? Oh, and did we also say that we have audio programs? But wait, did we also say that you can come see us here in Miami in person and train in our office right here with us? What? This is incredible! Right? Onestepprep.com Joe and Juan, right here. We're here for you guys. Give Look us a call. To it.